Welcome back, everyone, to Let's Play Final Fantasy IX! Last time, I got my ass handed to me by some normal yans, uh, a group of three of them. Uh, see, I got to see the game over screen a little early this time. Uh, earlier than I'd planned to show it, but there you go. But as you can see, I found the friendly yan. Let's, uh, see what he wants now. Give me a diamond! Alright, well, Dagger, you wanna do the honors? Alright, where are you, diamond? There you are. Give that diamond to the friendly Yan, Dagger. This one wants a diamond. If if you if you haven't found all of the other other friendly creatures and you run into this one, this one will just run away. Thanks a lot. Okay. This I like this Yan. It's cute. Now you can reach the round guy. The round guy? Well, what do you mean the round guy? Uh, uh, cutie. Hmm. Well, we'll learn more about that very shortly, viewers. Coming up. And we get a Rosetta Ring. All right. But we'll learn more about that very shortly. Very actually coming up in this video. But first, I should be equip my characters real quick. Well, not all of them. Just, just, uh, particularly Ico. All of the others are already, already equipped, so. I have my party set up as I have listed in the video description, so there you go, people. For what's coming up right here. Let's see, gotta check our abilities too. Okay, she doesn't need ability up. But she does need clear edit. There we go. And she should be fine now. I might wanna put Reflect Nullify on her though. There we go. And Auto Potion probably. Let's see, uh, who has Auto Region equipped? Okay, okay, we're fine. Or no, we're not. Hmm, what about Dagger? Okay, she's okay. Let's see, auto region. Uh, we're gonna need two characters with auto region, so there we go. I'll, I'll give it to Aiko. There we go. Just check and make sure this is correct. Okay, we're fine. All right. Let's see. Everyone else is already well equipped, so there we go. All right. Now I'm all set up and ready to go. But but first, let me heal up real quick. There we go. Alright, save my game. Slot one. I'll probably save again when I get to where the Chocobo's Air Garden is. Let's see, where's the Chocobo's Air Garden? Oh, it's right there, okay. Well, then I don't have to save right, right away. Alright, let's head back up to the Chocobo's Air Garden now. Now, if you remember, viewers, in that in that one video when I went to Chocobo's Air Garden, I said to ignore that little spot at the very back of the Chocobo's Air Garden where the Eidolon Cave is. Well, this is what I was talking about. What, uh, coming up. What's coming up is what I was talking about, so... There it is. Feed my dead pepper, and return to Chocobo's Air Garden. I'm actually ready to take on the ultimate super boss of Final Fantasy IX. And this one is not like any other Super Boss viewers, this is not just a strategy power based battle, this is also a luck based battle as well. So there you go. Okay, um, I'm actually going to make a save state here in case I screw up. So let's see. Or if I get unlucky, really. Really unlucky. Alright. Let's see. What's this? Looks like an Eidolon cave. Well, let's examine it then. Wait, Kibo! Well, what's wrong, Mine? I feel strange presence inside, Kibo! Oh boy. Is it bad? I've never felt anything like it, Kippo! It's not of this world, but not like a ghost, either! It feels otherworldly, Kippo! Otherworldly? Huh. I see. Um, well, let's examine it then. And here you get one last chance to prepare for this battle, viewers. Okay, you get one last chance to prepare. Select your party members, open menu. If you need to heal up, equip any abilities, choose your party, whatever. But I'm already all set up, so I just want to show you my party real quick. I've got uh, Zanane, Dagger, Steiner, and Aiko. I chose Aiko because she has the Phoenix Summon, and I have 94 Phoenix Pinions. I chose Dagger uh, and Aiko so they can both keep the party healed. Steiner and Zanane are going to be my main damage dealers right here. So there you go. Alright. Well, anyway. There's my party set up right there, and it's also in the video description, but... I'm ready to explore the... 
I'm ready to exploit the Eidolon world. For boss time! Well, let's see what this guy's made of. Let's see if luck is on my side or not. Looks like some giant uh, gumball or something. Well, this is Ozma, the ultimate super boss of Final Fantasy IX. Now, you see that message up there, viewers? That means if you've completed the Friendly Creature side quest, then you'll be able to attack Ozma with your physical attacks. And uh, his Shadow Absorption will be eliminated as well, so there you go. Alright, I'm gonna have to heal up now, so let's see. Kill Raga on everyone now, Dagger, quickly. And Iko, why don't you cast Holy? Quickly, there you go. Let's see if I get lucky or not. I might, you never know. Let's see if I can do this. Let's see if I can do this. Come on. Get him, Steiner. Not bad. You could have done better, but whatever. Go, Zidane. And this enemy, if you are not well prepared, this enemy will kill you in just a few turns. So you gotta watch out. Uh-oh, what's he doing? Okay, well that's nothing to worry about. Thievery, now Zane. I'm moving a lot quicker in the battle than usual because this... Because this enemy, Ozma, unlike any other boss in the game, he has no ATB gauge. So what that means is, if you're not doing anything, he'll just go attack after attack after attack and ruin your entire party. So you gotta watch out for that. But he is weak to Holy and Shadow if you've completed the friendly creature side quest, so that does help out a lot. Uh, Dagger, you might as well heal us up just in case uh, he does something bad, okay? Because you never know what he'll do. What's he doing? Level 4 Holy, okay, that's good. I've got characters at level multiple 4, that's nothing to worry about. Okay, uh, I could go, in for, go for another Holy. I said Holy, thank you. There you go. Steiner's almost out of MP, he's gonna need another, uh, he's gonna need a Turbo Ether or an Ether or something to restore his MP. I'll take care of that very shortly. After that, I'll have Iker do that on the next turn. What's he doing now? Berserk! Okay, that's good. Ether, S Steiner, you start now, Steiner, okay? Now this enemy has one combo that can in instantly ruin your entire party, regardless of your level and strategy and setup. So, no matter what your setup is, uh, if he does that combo, it's automatically over. Hopefully we won't, won't run into any bad luck with that. Let's hope not. Doomsday! Awesome! This is exactly what I wanted right here. Alright, let's get him. Let's take him out. Let's get him. Ha <laughs> ha! This is exactly what I was hoping for. Doomsday right here. Yes! Now you're probably asking, viewers, why am I not stealing from Ozma? Well, because I, I don't want Shaw stealing from Ozma, but I am going to put in the annotations what he has that you can steal from him. It's nothing in particular except for a third pumice piece. That's about it. But other than that, that's all he's got. So there you go. Uh, I'm gonna go back and steal those items from him off screen so that I can actually kill him and so I can actually steal the items from him and win the battle at the same time. So there you go. There you go. I am gonna do that. I'm gonna go back and do that off screen. I just want to focus on killing him right now. Besides, he has nothing rare that we can steal except maybe a dark matter and that's their opponent's piece. That's about it. Oh, did we get him already? Did I get him already? Game? You're kidding me, right? You're kidding me. UNBELIEVABLE! Wow! Well, there you go, people! I am the FF King, right there! I killed him right there on my first attempt! Well, that was easy! <laughs> I didn't get hit by a single, uh, uh, cursed meteor combo right there! That was the bad combo that he had! But there you go, people! There's Ozma for you! Well done, team! Everyone, well done! Very well done, everybody! Well, that was easy! And we learned Boost Fiker, alright. And we get an Ozma card, Pumice and a Dagger, Dark Matter. 
Alright! You're, you're really strong, Kibo! That's amazing, Kibo! I'm recording how I feel right now on card, Kibo! I'll give you secret info too! We get another Ozma card and a strange guide, alright! One more bonus, Kibo! Alright, but we destroyed Ozma! Woohoo! Wow! Luck was on my side today! Wow, I can't believe that! Plan taken, if you're watching this, you were right, I am the FF King! Well, now we can open our menu and we can check out that dark, that pumice that we got for Dagger there. Uh, let's see. There's a full uh, pumice piece, as you can see. But we got a full pumice now. And this, actually, what this does, uh, increases some of her stats. Uh, teaches Dagger the almighty art summon. Uh, uh, and that is her final summon in the game. So let's equip that on her now. But anyway, there we go. Alright. Well, <laughs> that wasn't too hard at all. If you have auto-reflect on your entire party, then Ozma's Berserk and Mini will always reflect back at him and it'll never hit you. So yeah, so that gives you a major advantage right there. Wow, we are done in Choco Berserk right now. I defeated the, the most powerful enemy in Final Fantasy IX. On my first attempt, too. I didn't expect to do that. Luck was on my side today. Wow. <laughs> but the strategy for that battle is basically just go all out with all of your strongest attacks on him. Uh, Steiner's Shock works very well against him, Zanane's Thievery if you've been powering it up. Or if you have Flay on your party and you've been powering up our Dragon's Quest by killing Dragon enemies, our Dragon's Quest can also power up to 99.99. Ozma is weak to Holy, and if you've completed the Friendly Creature side quest, he's weak to Shadow damage. Otherwise, he would, um, he would, uh, absorb from his own Doomsday attack, so there you go. And if you have Vivi and, and Emma in your party, it could return magic on them, because if Ozma does Doomsday, then they'll both return that same Doomsday spell towards him in one round. So there you go. And if you get a free turn at the start of the battle with Doomsday, with Ozma doing Doomsday, then have uh, Dagger immediately start off with Bahamut, because that's a really long attack animation. Right there. But there you go, people. That's Ozma for you. Not very hard if you know the strategy to him. You could even defeat him with a level 1 party if you wanted to. You just gotta hope that he never does Curse or Meteor on your entire party. If he does that, then you've basically already lost the battle. There you go. Especially if you don't have Auto Life learned or equipped. But there you go. We defeated Ozma. Now there's still one more Super Boss that we can fight, but before that, I should probably go back and get some of my other characters. So let's go do that. And I won't worry about stealing from this enemy right now. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna go back and steal from this uh, other upcoming enemy off screen as well. So there you go. We do have to put Quinn on our party, unfortunately. So he's a requirement. So I think I know who I'm gonna put in. Oh no, actually. Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna put Quinn in, and I'm gonna replace Ico probably. Like, or no, no, actually. Okay, I'm gonna have to take you out of the party right now, Dagger. Or no, wait, hold on. Okay, Steiner, I'm gonna have to take you out, sorry. But you'll get your screen time again, don't worry. Okay, so my party will be Dagger, Ico, Zanane, and Quina, basically. Then. But that's okay. Let's see. Uh. Yeah, I wanna search my party members. And I wanna put in Quina. Uh, Dagger, why don't you take the third slot for now? Or, no. There you go. Alright. Now I can re-equip my characters that need to work on their abilities. Dagger has to work on her, uh, Arc Summon right there, so there we go. And Aiko, she has to work on Medine, I believe. Yep, Medine, okay. We're gonna give her that to work on. There you go, Aiko. And I'm gonna re-equip my party a little bit here, too, so let's see here. I don't need Auto Region on now, but I do need Reflect Nullify. And let's see, anything else? Hmm. Ability up. Yes. And you don't need Clear Headed on because you got Reflect, Reflect, Auto Reflect on. Ica. Put Level Up on, there you go. And let's see, Quinn, what about you? Uh, let's see. Let's see, uh, yeah, keep Antibody on, I guess. And let's see, I want to put Level Up on you, so let's see here. 
What can you take off of you? Did you finish all of your abilities? Yes, he did. Okay. Okay. Well, you're done then. Alright, then you can put- you don't need uh, ability up on any more then. You can put level up on. There you go. And you should be fine there. There you go. Make sure you both got Reflect Nullify Equip Dagger. Good. Okay. And you don't need Clear Head on now because you got Auto Reflect on. Uh, this- this upcoming boss doesn't have the Curse Attack. Okay, level up. And I want to put ability up on you, so let's see here. Take off your Auto Push. There you go. There you go. And Zidane, what about you? You finished off all of your abilities, so you only need level up, really. Uh, let's see. So what can we take off of you? Hmm. You don't need clear it on. There you go. Put, uh, let's see, where are you? Level up. There you go. Alright, we're ready. Everyone's got auto-reflect on? Good. Good, okay. And Quinn, let's put you back in the front row. There you go. Alright. Now we can go catch the last several frogs that we have to catch. Jeez, that was an uh, 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 really, really short. I lost my battle right there. I didn't expect it to go that fast. I was expecting it to take a few attempts. Amazing. That's gotta be the LPO's blessing. <laughs> well, let's save our game before we go in there. The frogs should have respawned by now. I think I've, I, I, uh, I caught more frogs off screen by the way viewers and uh, and I think I caught up to like 91 or 94 frogs so there's like only a few left to catch now for Quinna. So let's do that. I have my save state for before I take on Ozma so I can always go, so I can go back and get that pumice piece if I want to and I probably will. I don't know yet. I really don't need the third pumice piece though because uh, it's not like I'm going to use those other two pumice pieces to, to synthesize north another full pumice. Uh, it's not like I'm going to do that. But anyway. Without further ado, let's go catch those last several frogs for Quinna. Alright, let's go. <coughs> Aha! Here's- there's like five frogs here. This actually might be enough to catch 99 right here. So dang, can I catch frogs? Frogs again? Sure, just for a little while. Thanks! Got 91 frogs. Okay, so this won't be enough. I actually have to go to another Q's much to catch more. Okay, that's no problem. But the others have respawned there as well, so we'll be good. Let's catch all these over here. Come on, get up here. Come on, get on. Go into some land. Come on, go into some land. Come on. There you go. Nuts. There you go. Gotcha. Alright. So we still have to catch three more in one of the other Q's marshes, so let's do that. Had enough, Quinn? It's pretty easy to catch frogs here. I got catching. For now, anyway. Because we're going to go to another Q's Marsh on the Forgotten Continent. I haven't shown that one off yet, so we're going to go to that one now. If I can ever get over there. Game! Hmm. Sure, let's show off my Dean. Why not? 
I haven't, I haven't shown off my ding yet. Let's do that now. See how powerful it is. Okay, I guess we didn't get to show off the full summon animation. Oh well. Go, Ico! Not bad. Alright, let's go. Go to the last Q's Marsh that I haven't shown off yet. There it is. Let's go. Anyway, that that, that that enemy Ozma that was basically the super boss of Final Fantasy IX, and the battle is extremely luck dependent, so it's not just strategy and power based. There you go. Now we got another boss coming up right here. Uh, after we catch or whatever, after we catch. Okay, this is not the enough fogs then. So dang, can I catch fogs? Sure, just for a little while. Thanks. Okay, well apparently there's not three fogs in this one, so I have to go to another Q's Marsh and catch another one. Apparently. All right. Well, this is the last Q's Marsh I didn't show off in the game right here. And this one's pretty easy, so... Uh, it's actually the second easiest of the, of the four Q's Marshes in the game. Alright, let's get out of here and go to another one. Mm, they just basically say the same stuff, so I'm just gonna go through it. Alright, I'm gonna go on ahead and go to the first Q's Marsh in the game, the very first one we were at, which is on the Mist Continent, so I'm gonna go to that one. They, they should have fogs that respawn there, as well. Okay, so I just have to catch one more fog. Let's go to the Q's Marsh on the Mist Continent. Now, if you didn't do the friendly creature side quest again, uh, and you fought Ozma, if you fight Ozma, Ozma without doing the friendly creature side quest, then uh, he'll be absorbing his own doomsday attack, uh, shadow damage, and you won't be able to use your phys you won't be able to hit him with your physical attacks either. So there you go. All right, and here's the final uh, set of fogs, and there's a bunch of them. Wow. Okay. So dang, can I catch fogs? Fox again? Sure, just for a little while. Thanks. All right, here we go. Catch one more fog, Quinna, and choose wisely which one you want to catch. Why don't you catch one of the uh, big ones? Because I think there's like three of them. Isn't there three big ones? Or are those all baby ones? Okay, I guess catch one of the small ones then. Why not? Keep the baby fog. And after that, Quail emerges. You're working hard, Quinna. Uh, what do you want? What got for us this time, Quail? 
Now's the time, Quina. You are on your own from now on. You're trying to become, er, become ultimate gourmet outlaw. Master Quail? Before you go, you take final test. Huh. Well, what's the final test, Quail? Boss time! That's what's the that's what the final test is. Let's get him. This is Quail, and he is uh, he has got pushover if you've got the right setup like I do, so there you go. The trick to this monster boss fight right here is have auto reflect on everybody. And uh, let's see. And make sure you got uh, uh, level up and ability up equipped. Uh, the main thing is just have just have auto reflect on everyone. That's the main thing right there. And reflect nullify on dagger and Iko, so there you go. Uh, let's show off let's show off dagger's new Bahamut summon before we show off Ark. Let's show off Bahamut first. And Quinna, you can do uh, let's see. Ha ha. Uh, let's see, Quinna, you can do uh, do fall drop. Why not? And Iko, go and summon Medine. And Zane, why don't you just attack? Don't do thievery. Um, I'm not gonna steal from this monster. I'm gonna go back and do that off screen, just like I do with Ozma later on. Uh, off footage. I'm gonna I'm gonna go back and steal from both of these bosses off screen. Uh, off footage. I'm not gonna steal during the battles, but I'm just gonna show them off. So there you go. But the strategy for this battle is is, is very simple. Uh, um, let's see. What is it? Uh, have have all go all out against Quail with all of your strongest attacks. Have have your melee attackers use their normal attacks. Have Dagger and Iko summon whatever they got, Bahamut, uh, Medine, whatever. And have Quina uh, do whatever, I don't really care what- uh, It doesn't matter what you have uh, Quina do, he's not gonna be doing too much. Um, uh, I guess maybe do Mighty Guard, I guess, I don't know. Uh, although we really don't need Mighty Guard, we'll go and do it anyway. But that's the strategy for this battle, just go all, all out against, against Quina with all of his strongest attacks. He's not very hard. Yeah, he just has a lot of HP, more, more than what Ozma has. But he's definitely easier than Ozma. Okay, Zanane, you can do Thiefer right now. Okay, Dagger, why don't you go and su summon Ark now? Show off your new Ark summon. See how that does against Quail. And Quinn, I guess you can do, um... Ha <laughs> Uh, let's see. Uh, I don't know what to- Uh, Twister! Do Twister! Show off your Twister attack! I don't think you've shown that off yet. And Ika, why don't you summon, uh, Phoenix? I don't really know what else to have you do besides Medine. You've already done Medine a few times. Here comes the Ark Summon, everyone! The, 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 your new Ark Summon, here it comes! Let's go, Ark! Wow, Ark is a trans- Ark is a Megazord! Wow, okay. Power Rangers reference? Maybe. Transformer? Ark is a carrying soul. Let me show you how much I care! Alright, you got him, Ark! Well done! You got him, well done! What? You're not done yet? Okay, Ark, you got him! You got him, Ark! You got him! can stop now! Ark? Ark? What? What? Ark? How long is this summon break going on? What, like two minutes? Okay, Ark, y you got him. You got him, Ark! You got him. You can stop now! Can stop now! Ark? Jeez, that's a long summon animation. 
Wow! Look at that damage! Well done, Dagger! You are amazing! You are awesome! And she's out of MP. Okay, let's give her another then. Haha! -ha. Yeah, if you have auto reflect on your entire party, Quail will always reflect all of his spells back at himself. So, although some of them will probably heal him, well, that's not—it won't heal him that much. Let's try level four holy and see how that works. Let's try level four holy on, on Quail. And Echo, you're probably gonna need Nether too, cause you're out of MP as well. Alright, you can't summon right now, okay. Uh, uh, do Holy, I guess, why not? Okay, don't do Holy, okay, we have to wait then. Okay, that works. Oh, level 4 Holy does work on Quail, okay. I guess it's a level multiple of 4, okay, I didn't know that. Ha ha, you can't, you can't hit me. You can't hit me, Quail, ha ha. Uh -huh, you can't even hit me. Yeah, if you have auto reflect on your entire party, Quail won't even be able to hit you. <laughs> Except with his physical attack, that's about it. Okay, Dagger, uh, let's see, what summon have we not seen? Hmm. Uh, we already saw Atomos, I'm sure. Well, we've seen all of your summons, I guess, okay. Uh, do Bahamut again, I guess. Uh, you didn't do the full summon with that. So, go ahead. And Quina, do Earthshake, why not? There it is. And I guess you can summon Phoenix. You said I ain't do Thebra. Boost equipped on Dagger and Ico, then you'll always get the full summon animation, but unfortunately, I don't have those equipped yet. But don't worry, I'll, I'll, I'll change those uh, 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 over time, don't worry. Let's see. Attack, Quino. Let's see. Um, Fenrir, I guess. Why not, Ico? He should be about dead soon, hopefully. Because I've done a few Thieves and other attacks. So he should be about dead. Not bad, Dagger. But basically, you just want to go all out with all of your strongest attacks on Quail. Uh, he has no weakness, really. So there you go. Um, you know what? We haven't seen Ramu in a while. Let's let's summon him again. And Quinn, I guess he can do. Hmm. Oh, ico has got Trance. Okay. Well, I know exactly what I'm gonna have Ico do then. Do your double white magic, Ico. Do a double white magic cast of Holy. Haha. -ha. Do that. And point out, you might as well, uh, I don't know, Aquabath, like, no, don't do Aquabath, um, I don't know. I don't know what to have you do, I guess you can do Twister again. I have not really much you can do right now. And Zidane going to attack again. Ha <laughs> ha, you're just gonna silence yourself. Uh, if it. One thing I like about Echo is how she plays the flute whenever she casts a spell. I like that about her, it's cute. Nice job, Echo! 4,005, not bad. Do 
do it again! Ah, here comes the full, uh, new foot summon again, apparently, I guess. Okay, so now you can do Thievery again. And point of attack. You're out of MP, so there you go. goes out of MP now. Oh well. Maybe this will finish off Quail right here. Uh, Echo, don't do anything yet. Oh, nope, we got him! Ha <laughs> ha! Good job, Zanane. We destroyed Quail and Ozma. Oh, right. If we destroyed them, we can actually destroy this, the final boss later on. Without any trouble whatsoever, ever. We get a lot of experience. Nice. All right, we did it. Very nice. I now have more to teach you. I give you this. What do we get? We get the Gastro Fork, Quina's ultimate weapon in the game. All right. Thank you, Master Quill. I train more. And I'm not gonna bother catching these other fogs. I'm just gonna let them stay there. We've already caught all the fogs we really care about. Had enough, Quina? It's pretty easy to catch Fox here! I'm done catching for good! Alright. Well, that's all the side questing we can do in the game, actually. Now, well, not exactly in the game. Uh, but, uh, for now, that's all the side questing we can do. Well, well, actually, there's one more thing that I didn't do earlier. That I kinda wanna do now. Let's go do that real quick. Before I end off the video here. Let's return to Trina real quick. And actually, I think there's another one, now that I think about it. Okay, let's go do that too, then. Let's see. I got enough time, I got enough time to fit this in the video, let's go. Let's go back to Quan's dwelling real quick. I'm actually gonna put Vivi in the party too, so there you go. So this video will probably be 40 minutes, but that's okay. Let's see, where's Trina? Ah, oh, it's over here. Maybe it'll be over 40 minutes, but there you go. That's no problem. Yes, I'd like to switch my party members. I want to put, uh, Vivian. There we go. Thank you. Actually, you know what, viewers? The rest of the side questing and progressing with the plot will have to wait until next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy IX! Like, comment, subscribe, rate, and share. And I will see you on the next episode when we uh, finish our side questing and continue on with the plot. See y'all then. Thanks for watching, everyone.